Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and in today's video I have something really really exciting. We are going to be doing a bag unboxing and I purchased a new purse from Gucci. This is my first Gucci purchase, first Gucci bag. The last bag unboxing that I did was my Prada bag unboxing which I will have linked down below. Today I'm going to be showing you my new purse from Gucci. I'm really really excited about this because like I said I've never owned anything from Gucci before not even like a belt or a little wallet or anything so I'm really excited the store was really awesome I live in Boston so there's a store downtown and I went in and they were super helpful the woman that worked with me was named Jennifer and she was very sweet and helpful she was actually wearing the bag that I came in to buy in black so the bag that I purchased from Gucci was the Gucci Marmon Matalese bag I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly probably not Matalese Matalese I'm not really sure where the accent goes but anyways that is the bag that I purchased and she was wearing it in black so this is actually like a completely true unboxing I have not opened this since I saw it in the store literally like four days ago I literally haven't taken it out of the bag so this is like a very true unboxing there's nothing in it I haven't even like unwrapped the box or anything so it just comes in a green Gucci bag I kind of wanted the black Marmont bag but I also just have a lot of black bags um, I have the black Prada, I have other like non-designer black neutral bags. So I wanted to go for something that was a little bit of color, a little bit something different, but still very much in my comfort zone and still very much a color that I wear a lot. So I decided to get it in the dusty pink color. I got the ribbon off and now I'm just going to open the box. And it comes in this tan Gucci dust bag, really cute. So this is the purse, I think she's so cute. Again, just to reiterate, this is the Gigi Marmon Matalese mini bag, because they actually have a shoulder bag as well, which I did try on in the store, but it was just a bit too big in my opinion. My height is 5'4", so I'm a pretty like, short to average size woman and i tried on the marmot shoulder bag which again is just a little bit bigger than this one it's about 200 something dollars more than this one as well it just hit a really awkward point at my hip it just wasn't super comfortable it just was a little bit too big for my body overall it just looked very like big you know for kind of a cross body smaller bag moment it just looked a little bit big the shoulder bag but when i tried on this mini bag which again is like you can wear cross body and everything it just was the perfect fit. It hit my hip really nicely. I felt that the shoulder bag was a little long and just a little cumbersome. So again, this is the dusty pink color. They also have this in black and it has a chevron imprint design all throughout and then on the back of the bag it just says gg i know on some of their bags they have a heart on the back but i really like the gg of course on the front there is that brushed gold gg and then that same gold hardware all on the strap i'm actually going to take the cellophane off so it is just that gold hardware this is not real gold but it's like a brush kind of gold looking hardware and then the continued leather strap so when it sits on your shoulder it's very comfortable I would definitely wear this bag crossbody just because it's the perfect length to do so and it just keeps the bag safer and closer to my body This is so exciting to like truly unbox this because like I haven't been using it It's not like I have a bunch of stuff in it already and when I was at the store I did like put my phone and my wallet into you know the bag that they had out for show Just to make sure all my like everyday essentials fit in there but if it's my iPhone, I currently have the iPhone 8 Plus. I know, I know, I need to get a new iPhone, but I honestly love the 8 Plus. This video is not about that, but I honestly love the 8 Plus because it's the last phone with a button and the camera's really good. But anyways, it can fit my iPhone 8 Plus, which is a huge phone, and it fits it perfectly comfortably in here. Wallet, keys, car keys, chapstick, lip gloss, all that type of stuff can fit in here. And I love the soft suede on the inside it's so so soft it's just a light pink suede on the inside which is really nice and then um, obviously the authentication little materials it has a little pocket in the back it doesn't zip it's just like an open pocket but then obviously the top of the bag zips which is really nice it just zips right around the top so it's like good for easy access and all of that i really like this bag i like that it's pink and it's a color but honestly if you look at it it's kind of like a tan pink it's not as light as it shows on the website if you haven't seen this bag in person i would argue that it appears a little bit more light pink on the website than it does in the store and obviously 
great. I'm not like disappointed by that. I went into the store, saw this in the store and still liked the color, even though it was a little bit different than how it appeared online. I really do like it. It's like a really pretty dusty mauve. It's a color without it being like a color. You know what I mean? It's still neutral, can still wear it with an all black outfit, can wear it with a black and white outfit, a tan outfit, a pink outfit, an outfit that has this like mauve color in it. It's a nice neutral. It's not like, you know, the color of this, like bright pink or anything. I really like this bag. I think it'll be great for the summer. Great to have a crossbody bag that I can just put all my essentials into. I'm not a huge tote bag wearer, so I honestly opt for smaller shoulder bags, crossbody bags like this. I think this will just be great for traveling during the summer, just fitting everything I need to in it, but also having, you know, a cute little designer flare moment. I really can't say enough good things about it. It's just gonna be a great everyday staple. Like I said, it's a color without it being too bold and too colorful so I can still wear it in a neutral way. But it's also, you know, something fun and a little bit different than your typical black or brown bag that everyone's carrying right now. Thank you guys so much for watching my little unboxing review of the Gucci Marmon mini bag. I really, really love it. I think it'll be great for summer. And this bag was $1,200, so $1,200. Um, and it had a tax, I have the receipt right here. The tax was... $75 so it came out to a total of $1,275 even and that's how much I got it for just obviously want to be transparent about the price I'll have the bag linked down below like I said it also comes in black which I really like the black but I wanted to do something a little bit different I also do recognize this isn't like a new bag it's not like revolutionary a lot of people have this bag or the shoulder bag so this is a pretty standard I would say like first Gucci purchase. I'm not crazy about their like designs or some of their certain colors of their brand. This is definitely more my speed um, or like any black bag that they would have. So I'm really, really happy with this purchase and definitely think it's worth it. And I can't wait now that I film this video to wear my new bag. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have the bag linked below in case you want to check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.